I want to take you back early 2020 and that's when I knew the FNM government was doomed. <laughs> we had four bulldozers in the mud. The first place in Abaco was clean up was the mud and the pit and peas. There in Henfield and Minnes, they didn't see any value in cleaning up Marsh Harbor proper, Dundas and Murphy Town. Four bulldozer. Uh, they rented the, the church. And I know that it was a money scam when they said there were 200 workers working in the mud. At no time that they had 200 workers in Marsh Harbor cleaning up Dundas, Murphy North Central Pines. But they recorded a lie. I was living in the church and they had 80 workers at most. But they put in the, the paperwork, had the news, the big flyers, 200 Abaconians working in the mud in the peas. If y'all only knew how much money they have taken from that scam of the mud and the peas, then they put a million dollar fence all around the mud and the peas. Still, while they put in the fence, the debris were on the sides of the streets through the corners, Dundas, Murphy, Marshall, and Central Pines. Millions of dollars were spent on the cleanup of the mud and the peas but not one million was spent to rebuild Custom Dock. Not one million was spent to rebuild Batelco. Not one million was spent to rebuild our lives. Millions went into the mud for over a year and they claim that they had 200 workers and they had a measly 80 workers and they weren't from Abaco because Abaco didn't know where they were going to spend the night. The ones that came, they lived in the church for over a year. That is why the poverty is so high on indigenous Abaconians that most of my people, thousands of them, is in Florida, Canada, everywhere and they still can't get back. And the ones in the trailer still can't get any housing because everybody went Airbnb. And when it's not Airbnb, $1,500 a month for two bedroom house, and you gotta put $4,000 up front. How could somebody relocate from a trailer park to that type of expenditure? I don't care how long it's, it's been. Many of those people are not even working these are the people that Kirk Connors and John Pender should have had somewhere temporarily to move away from the temporary situation that they're in because that is what they're there for, to make sure that the less underprivileged get some help from the government when so much was sent on behalf of Abaconians but it all seeped right back out to Nassau and the people of Abaco are still left homeless. Kai Kiss, speaking on the people that I really love and speak for the underprivileged Kai Kiss.